Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Adriana Monet and I'm the owner and creator of Monet. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I make my soy wax melts. So first we're going to go over the ingredients and the supplies we need to make the wax melt. Um, starting with ingredients, um, this part is going to vary person to person. Me personally, I use soy wax and specifically I use the teed up my wax right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. I'll hold up like a block. <laughs> so I use the TW30 um, from California Candle Supply. Yeah, so I really enjoy this wax. It's easy to use. It's the only wax I've used for wax melts and they come out perfectly every time. No issues, um, but you can definitely use any wax you want. Coconut wax, um, paraffin wax. You can use whatever wax you like. There are other soy waxes as well. Um, I suggest just looking for a supplier close to you, um, especially if you have one that you can drive to and seeing what wax they have that is specifically for tarts or wax melts um, and sticking with that wax, or at least trying it out first just to save, to save on shipping. So one thing you wanna make sure of is that you are using a wax that is specifically made for wax melts. You don't wanna use a container wax that you use for candles for your wax melts because it's gonna be way too soft and they're not gonna pop out of the little molds. All right, so the next ingredient that makes up your wax melt is gonna be the fragrance oil. So fragrance oils, you can kind of use any fragrance oil that is made for candles. Um, and there's tons of different suppliers out there. This one specifically is from Candle Science. I love Candle Science for their fragrance oils. They have like a bunch to choose from and they all that I've tried have smelled really good and they're pretty strong as well. This is the Honeysuckle Jasmine and I just have the little one ounce sample bottle to try it so for your fragrance load it's going to depend specifically on your wax whatever wax you use on that supplier's website they're going to have a fragrance load which essentially is just how much fragrance oil you can use in that wax so mine that i have here is up to 18 percent which is a lot i'm just going to do 10 percent um, just because I, I don't believe I'll need a full 18% and it's to me it's better to kind of start lower and then go up if you feel the need. So for your supplies, I'm just going to go over it really quick. So we have a pot because we're going to be doing the double boiler method and I'm going to show you that as well. And then we have our pouring pitcher and so I just have this little small one because we're only going to be making one wax melt. And then we have our scale right here. We have our thermometer. We have something to stir the wax and fragrance oil together. We have a little cup to pour the fragrance oil in. And then we have a clamshell mold. Um, this specific clamshell mold, I get these from Lone Star Candle Supply just because it's the closest one to me. Um, and it works really good. They are good quality, opens easy, closes easy. Never really had a problem. All right, guys, so I went ahead and put my gloves on because I like to use gloves when working with wax and working with fragrance oils. It's just a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead. The first thing we're going to do is set up our double boiler method. So I'm just going to take this pot. I'm going to fill it with water and I'm going to start to boil the water. And then next, we're going to start um, measuring out our wax. All right, so we have our water in our pot. And what you want to do is go ahead and start to boil. Sorry, this stove's a little bit dirty. <laughs> you want to go ahead and start to boil the water. And I just put it on high. And so while that's boiling, we're going to go over and measure our wax. All right, so here is a better view of the wax that I use. So only thing I don't like about this wax is it's so hard. Again, this is the only wax mill wax that I've worked with so i don't know if they're all like this but it's just so hard so i just used this little silver kind of chopper thing i got from the dollar tree to chop it up but it's still kind of hard so i'm gonna go ahead and try and chop up some pieces i think are gonna be enough 
But so yeah, so next we're gonna measure our wax and we just use our pouring pitcher to measure the wax. I've already teared it out, but you would just put your pot on the scale, press the tear button, it's gonna go to zero. And so that way it only measures everything that you put inside of it. So I need 73.63 grams of wax and I just work in grams. I'm not sure why, honestly, it just works. It just makes sense to me and I've been doing it. So I just always do it. So I'm just simply just putting these little wax cubes that I cut up pieces of wax until it gets to 70. I can't see it really good how I have the camera set up, but. All right guys, so I got to 73.7, that's fine. Um, if it's a little bit over, cause you're probably gonna waste a little bit wax, a little bit of wax anyways. So 73.7 grams of wax. I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to my double boiler method and we're gonna get this melting. All right, so the water is boiling and we're just gonna simply put this on top. I love this little pouring pitcher cause it's so simple and easy to use. And we simply just wait for it to melt. All right, so next we're going to measure out the fragrance oil. And like I said, we're going to be using this Honeysuckle Jasmine by Candle Science. And I'm going to be doing 10%. So I need 7.3 grams. And I'm just going to use this little pipette. That's what it's called, right? I think that's what it's called. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to use it to transfer the fragrance oil you can definitely pour it but i always make a mess 7.4 which is fine it's a little bit over um like i said we may lose some all right so my wax has melted and we're just gonna go ahead and take that off all right so once your wax is done melting this is when your thermometer comes into play and so you're going to be using your thermometer to measure the temperature of the wax so for my wax i'm going to add the fragrance oil at about 170 to 180 degrees fahrenheit um so we're going to just wait usually it takes a minute to cool down before i add the fragrance oil um to be honest i never really use a thermometer because i kind of just I've been doing it for so long, so I kind of just know. All right, so it's about 175. That's a good temperature to go ahead and add the fragrance oil. Yeah. So I'm going to be using this wooden skewer to stir my fragrance oil and my wax. So I'm going to go ahead and add the fragrance oil in. And we're going to go ahead and stir it for about 30 seconds. So next, after you stir, you're gonna wanna let your wax cool down. Um, and for my specific clamshell, um, you have to do, you have to pour it less than 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So I want this to be under 160. And you can check your, wherever you get your clamshells, just check their website and they should have uh, the temperature for that, for your specific one. But if you use the, Lone Star one, then you can do 160 or less. All right, so I have my clamshell set up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it and I'll try and get a close up view of me pouring it. All right, you wanna kind of pour it. Sorry if I'm not getting that great of a view, but if you wanna kind of pour it nice and slow and it just fills up perfectly and now you just wait so this is kind of what it looks like when you first pour it and it takes a little bit to harden up so i'm going to show you guys again once it gets harder so this is what it looks like it's not quite hardened just yet but it's getting there it's been maybe like 15 20 minutes so it doesn't take too long at all and i'll show you guys again once it's fully hardened so this is about after an hour um so it's really smooth and i just want to come in here and talk a little bit about temperatures um so the temperature that you're working with is going to depend specifically on your wax like i said i use tw30 i 
let my wax kind of just melt. I don't really measure the temperature while it's in there. I let it melt. I take it off. I measure it until it's about 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when I pour my fragrance oil. I kind of just stir it for a little bit and then for about 30 seconds i would say and then i let it cool down to about from 150 to 160 so for my clamshell modes they you have to pour it um under 160 so as long as it's under 160 that's fine but i like to do it between 150 to 160 and after that it's done and that's kind of just what i do your temperature is going to depend on your wax specifically so check with your supplier um you can always contact these suppliers as well and ask them these questions too but everything should be available on their website but thank you guys for watching my video i really appreciate it um be sure to comment like subscribe um go ahead and check out my etsy shop i'm gonna leave it in the comments below um again this is what my wax melt look like like i am gonna do a video over how i make my labels and how i print them so that'll be coming very soon but yeah guys thank you for watching my video if you're interested in any of the supplies that i use check out my last youtube video where i talked about the supplies i used to make a candle um they're very similar pretty much everything was the same besides i used the clamshell modes which i did mention in this video and i'll link them down below but like i said thank you for watching please uh subscribe comment like i'm gonna be doing a, a lot more videos um over just candle making and then also entrepreneurship and things like that um but yeah thank you again for all the support and i'll see you guys in the next video bye